Kahit magkaibigan tayo, basta mali ang ginagawa mo, pasensyaan tayo. So you were friends before? Oh yes, Mr. Yes. Sir. Ganun ako katigas. Kaibigan tayo, walang problema. I did not know that he was throwing uh, infectious waste. Yung mga karkas gali sa dressing plan niya. Tinatapoy niya pala dun sa, sa landfill area namin. How the, did I find out? Because one of his trucks, Mr. Chair, nasiraan sa highway. Pagdaan namin, nagre-reklamo yung mga tao ang baho. Nagmangaya ng dating magkaibigan na si Representative Richard Gomez at Mayor Ramon Onyate. Pinatutunayan ni Gomez na hindi siya tatahimik lang at walang kaibig-kaibigan kung may maling ginagawa. Ayon sa kanya noong mayor pa siya ay hindi niya alam ang ginagawa ni Onyate. Congressman Gomez was with us when we have the inauguration of all those. Yes, I was there, Mr. Chair. Yeah. During And the then, inauguration of the opening of, of my businesses. All of my Richa, uh, Congressman Gomez was yes. aware of all these circumstances. Maybe. But then we were, we were together. So you were friends before? Oh, yes, Mr. Yes. Chair. You we were to friends. Us. But you know, oh, with Mr. Chair, I'll tell you a story, Mr. Chair. Excuse me, Mr. Mr. Chair. When I was mayor of Ormoc City, I did not know that he was throwing uh, infectious waste. Yung mga karkas gali sa dressing plan niya. Tinatapoy niya pala dun sa, sa landfill area namin. How the, did I find out? Because one of his trucks, Mr. Chair, nasiraan sa highway. Pagdaan namin, nagre-reklamo yung mga tao ang baho. Oh, ang baho. That's it. Tatlong araw na. Dalawa, tatlong araw. Bang mabaho. And then I found out that he was throwing it. He got mad at me. Kasi nga, pinagbawal ko. So And even that was the turning e point. Even no, even if we were if, if, even if we are friends, Mr. Chair, kahit magkaibigan tayo, basta mali ang ginagawa mo, pasensyaan tayo. Let us follow the law, Mr. Chair. Ganun ako katigas. Kaibigan tayo, walang problema. Pero pag nilabag mong batas, lalo na pareho tayo na, na mayor, may problema tayo dyan. Mr. Chair, so you see, I, Mr. Yeah. Ormok has a landfill. Oh. And so, that landfill is for Ormok only? Yes. For everybody. No. Uh, no, no, no. Who was the one who established that landfill? Ormok. Oh, siyempre. Mayor din ako pag nag-establish ako ng landfill para lang sa aking LGU. Yeah, yeah. But Unless then, na sinabi namin, pwede ibang LGU, pero meron kayong tipping fee, magbabayad kayo. Yes, Libre yes, pa o may mayad. Yes. yes, I don't know, Mr. Chair. But then, uh, what what I'm, I'm driving at is we have a dressing plant We produce his food. Our dressing plant is an ISO for food and ISO for management. We are the only dressing plant in Region 8 that is ISO food. And we have... <laughs> that is beside the point. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, but then is... Madam we, Lani, the dressing plant plan for Mayor Mayor. Yes, sir. I was also a poor Mayor Mayor. Kahit na may planta, ang una naming tanatanong, what will happen to your wage, especially... Dressing of chicken, including the bituka. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, what I'm driving at is that dressing plant that not produce infectious waste. Pero siya sabi na wag na infectious waste. The waste itself. Ah, yes. Balhebo. Our dressing Hindi plant. Hindi lang kaya niya balhebo. Tinatakot yes, natin yan. Yes, bituka. sir. Bituka. Mr. Chairman. Although meron tayong bituka sa mga lansyangan ng bituka ng manok, kinakain ko rin yan. Hmm. Mr. Sa lansyangan. Mr. Chairman. Oh. I'll, I'll invite you. Mr. Chair. Go, go no, 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 no. No, no. no. Our, dressing, yeah, no. our dressing plant is zero waste. Mr. Chair. The feeders is, is converted into feeds. Ano ginagawa niyo sa... The feeders is converted ano into feeds. Ano ginagawa niyo sa... Baleba. Yeah. Feeders is converted into feeds. For... Yes, palong ng manok. Ano ginagawa niyo? Feeds. Palong? Palong, yes. Feeds. And then the intestines is converted into biodiesel. Oh, ay bakit nahuli kayo ni Richard? Oh. That's, that's, her, that's his allegation. Hindi totoo yun? Hindi. Okay. Um, Mr. Chair, I think we're debating from the real purpose of this resolution. Yes. Malayo naman tayo. I think the first uh, problem is how the area was titled. Yes, sir. If it's a timberland, it seems that there's a connivance between the mayor and the officials of DNR. Oh, oh, oh. I am not the mayor at the time. The okay. brother was the mayor okay. at the time. The uh, brother with, was you, mayor. with you as the, uh, uh, as the owner of the land. No? Yes, sir. The, so, the, 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 as I can recall, that land has a tax declaration as early as 1965. If, I, if my mind 
is correct. But it is mentioned that the, it is a timberland. It was a timberland. It was never declared as alienable and disposable. Yes. If it is not, then it's impossible to be titled without connivance. I don't because know. Because if you're an uh, applicant of a land, when if it's vacant, when it's timberland, it has first to be declared as alienable and disposable. So by that time, you should know if it's A&D or timberland. The land, Mr. Chairman, is besides the National Highway. Yes, but the uh, classification. It, the National Highway was concreted as early as 1997. Well, national is different from uh, land title that you own. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the land where that uh, title is given is with is besides the national highway. Okay. But the classification is timberland. I don't okay. know. I don't know that one. Uh, That's according to the uh, DNR. Just a clarification. Is it true that your brother was the mayor way back in 2005? Yes. Okay. And what is the name of your brother? Marcelo. Marcelo. Ngayon naman sa ating DNR, pag nagawa ba ako ng kalye sa tabi ng timberland, does he change the classification no. of the land from timberland to alienable and disposable? Ah, uh, hindi po. Okay. Mr. Chair. Okay. Kaya tayo nagagawa ng kalye para marating natin sa timberland. Excuse me. Okay. Classification of lands... Uh... I think the legislation or the proclamation, but yes. uh, never because of it's a uh, close uh, national uh, highway. Mr. Chairman, it's not that there is that national highway and it converted into a and &E. No, I'm just telling you that the situation of my land. And then number two, Mr. Chair, I have a treasure on tax declaration. The tax declaration of that land is... Last 1964, owned by Lusorata Antonina. Of which, there are many owners, Mr. Chair. The last owner is me on okay. uh, 1999. Is that a certified true copy coming from the provincial assessor? Yes, sir. It has a seal. No, no. Certified true copy of it the It's an original, assessor? sir. Because it has a seal. Oh, Kong Gomez. Anong tanong nyo, uh, Mr. Chair? Is that a certified true copy? Sabi lang niya, seal. Answer if it's a certified true copy. I don't really know. Okay. I cannot. If, if you want a certified copy, Mr. Chairman, I'll give. But I, what I have a copy now is an original copy. And who is the owner? Owner of the In tracer? The declaration. No, it's Ramon Onyate. No, before. In your copy. No, the, this is a tracing, Mr. Chairman. The owner in 1964 was Losorata Antodina. Based on the tax declaration? Yes, sir. No title? No okay. title. Okay. Then where did the title come from? Uh, it, was on, the, it was given it was, on 2005, sir. Uh, under the name of? Ramon Onyate, sir. Okay. That's, uh, that's a very uh, suspicious... Uh, Typing oh, of land. Congressman. Uh, Mr. Chair, yes. it was mentioned earlier na ina-acknowledge nila na mali nga yung pagta-title, di ba? Yes. Tapos kinlaim nila na namatay na yung pumirma. Ang question ko lang, isa lang ba ang pumirma para ma-reclassify yung lupang yun? So, kasi malamang meron pang ibang signatories doon. So, mas concerned ako doon sa mga buhay. But most important, there's this. The declaration of AMD. Bago nyo lang matitle lang, kailangan ma-declare as alienable and disposable. Kaya nga matitrace yun doon. But, uh, sinabi kasi kanina na ina-acknowledge nila na mali talaga ang paggawa. Tapos yes. sabi nila, hindi nila mahabol kasi yung in charge yung time na yun ay patay na. Pero I don't think isa lang ang signatory noon. Meron pang ibang mga papeles yan na may ibang signatories. So, Para maiwasan na laging nangyayari ito, baka po pwede namang habulin ng committee yung mga buhay pa. Correct. Because uh, if you take over a uh, certain department, it is your uh, responsibility to make sure of what is happening inside your department. Correct, Mr. Chair? Di, di ba po final signature na yung sa head ng ano, department? So meron pa mga preliminary na mga checking yan. So yung mga nasa baba nila na nag-check nun, Malamang yun din yung mga kakonsyaba. Kung meron mga kakonsyaba, di ba po? Kung, 
So ang ano ko is baka pwede po nating malaman kung sino rin po yung mga taong yon. Mr. Oh, Chair, Dinar, is it Mr. Chair? Uh, wait, uh, Dinar, please uh, answer the query of uh, Congressman. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, we will uh, include all those uh, who participated in the typing of that uh, lap. So you will include? And then, uh, ganito na lang. Uh, and then you submit all those names uh, that you will include at the same time bahagi doon sa titling ng lupa. Okay. Yes, sir. Ano, Mr. Right. Chair. You submit it before the next hearing. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Ako si Luan Peñano para sa Eye of Donation ng Inus Pasig.